Okay, so today is a really special day here at GMBN. We're joined by guest Hans Ray. Yeah, come follow me. I'll give you some pointers to plan your own adventure. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Okay, Hans, now you're known for doing some absolutely incredible adventures. I want to know though, what does it take to inspire you? Is it books? Is it pictures? Is it walking destinations that you've seen that you'd love to ride your bike on? It's a combination. In the old days, I used to do a lot of these famous trekking routes that people would hike, be the Inca Trail or stuff like that. And but sometimes it's the first ascent. It inspires me often to do something that hasn't been done before or was maybe considered unrideable. But it doesn't always have to be extreme. Sometimes it can be also about a different challenge or a, I always try to have a little mission on my trips, be it in search of something mysterious or historical or yeah. tied in the charity. Okay, so I've got a couple of questions now for you about the bikes and what we're riding. I'm on this 160 Enduro bike, you're on a 130 trail bike. How do you decide what bike to take on an adventure? Well, that's the million dollar question, you know. <laughs> There's always a compromise. I, I usually, either one of these bikes would work travel-wise. I mean, I usually use uh, something between 130 and 160. Um, you want a bike, depending, you know, if there's a really cool downhill, you might want a bit more travel. If you know there's a lot of uphill pedaling, you want a bike that's a bit lighter maybe and travel and it's lighter to carry when you have to carry it. But um, yeah. And then anything setup wise that you're changing the bikes, do you go for heavier tires, flat pedals, for example, what do you pick? You know, I ride my bikes pretty much. I bring them to the adventures like I ride them, but um, sometimes I beef up the tires, for example, to avoid, you know, punctures or, you know, slicing a tire. I usually always have a proper post on my bike. I, I run flat pedals on the adventures because you're often on your feet carrying your bike or if it's really technical, I prefer to be not clipped in. So, but yeah, they're pretty stock bikes. Okay, cool. Well, that sounds good. We've done the hard bit of climbing up. So now let's go for a little Let's do some riding, yeah, you. come on. Okay, so we've just been for a ride in the Welsh Valleys. Now, I went with absolutely nothing. Took my mobile phone and that was it. But you... A bloody amateur. <laughs> you have got this big pack. Can you tell us a little bit about what is in there? The stuff that you take with you on an adventure ride? Yeah, of course. Uh, first of all, it's not a big pack. It's, okay. uh, it's a, I, I usually run double at the size on a big adventure. But, you know, this is a day pack and I brought the essentials, like a multi-tool, a hat, I mean, whales, right? Yeah. And a pump some more glasses with a lighter lens, um, a tube, some warm clothes, and some food to eat, of course, something to drink, a phone, and a few bits and pieces. Yeah. Okay, so we've got all that, but then on some of the other trips, what's the sort of most obscure thing that you've taken with you when you've been going on these really big adventure rides that you've done? Well, like, rockets and whiskey and <laughs> once we had to bring once we went up this big volcano that had all snow on the top we had to bring crampons to put on our feet to get up on the snow and and more than once we had to bring ropes actually to either say for safety on a glacier or actually we upsiled a few times too down some cliffs where we with the bike in your back yeah we would strap them to the back and we would like kind of rig it like you know tyrolean style yeah nice <laughs> 
And then if we've got one hack for the viewers at home to really take away that they can do when they go on their adventure rides, what could you give them? One hack? Well, what I often do, I don't do it here, but I, I wrap a bunch of duct tape around my pump because duct tape is like, it always comes in handy. It's like the MacGyver, so that can save your butt out there, duct tape. Well, Hans, thank you very much for popping by, taking us on a ride, and then giving us some awesome adventure tips. I've certainly learned something because if you want to watch some more videos from GMBN, then click right here to see me riding an epic ride in Whistle in just a t-shirt, no water, nothing with me. Click right there for actually how to pack a rucksack. And click right here to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumb up like, and if you've got any questions about adventure riding, then leave it in the comment section down below.